too, like Sapphi 09. Like, I like all the different scenes, right? That one I'm filming, and like, you know? You know, it's kind of like that, those athlete videos, like Jordan Jeter, it's like a Nike video. You, you know, it's kind of almost like that fuck you Shoot, video. Yeah, yeah, it's kind, of, yeah, it's kind of like you know, from the bottom, hustles your way up. Yeah, it's what it, it's the same old shit because it's my true narrative, which is like you know, you you think it's because my dad you know gave me like like it's like it's like you take all the things that like people are against you, you yeah. for, it's like you know. Mm-hmm. On my 30th birthday, I looked myself in my rear view mirror as I was driving from New York to New Jersey and I said, you're not behaving to back up your own words. And eight weeks later, I started Wine Library TV on YouTube and started the process of changing my career. I have massive empathy. You know, it's not so awesome right now. You're hoping for that thing, I get it. I, I get it so much you can't imagine. I get 10,000 emails a day of like, can't I just do this? No, you can't. <laughs> if it was so easy, if it was so damn easy, don't you think we'd all choose that? Do you know how many kids feel less than because they didn't have a chance to go to school? They're not, you know, they're not this, they're not that. And then you look at someone like Gary Vee and he admits, like he said in public, that he got D's and F's and look at where he is now. Do you know what kind of hope that creates? It's a long game. I was told between seven years old and 18 years old that I lost, that I was a loser because this is what I got. F City, baby. But when I saw F City, I knew inside that this was not the game that I was gonna play. I was patient. I ate crow in that 12 year period while the market and the machine told me I wasn't gonna win. I knew where my outcome was. And you may now be in your 20s and 30s and 40s and the machine, the marketplace might be telling you that you're gonna lose but it is about staying the course and putting in the work and positioning yourself in the right position to go out and win. You know why I'm sitting here right now? Because I outworked you. Zoom in, I outworked you. I think a lot of people feel this enormous pressure to achieve this millionaire, billionaire status somewhere in your 20s, 30s, 40s. It's very difficult. It is for very few and far between. I don't wanna, I hope everybody understands. If you put in 18 hours a day, every day of your life, and you suck shit, you lost. <laughs> that matters too. And so you also have to think about what are you good at. Just because it's cool to be a startup founder now doesn't mean that's what you need to become. In early 2006, I started Wine Library TV. For 19 months, I did that show five days a week and nobody gave a shit. Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of Wine Library TV. I am Gary Vaynerchuk, Director of Operations here at Wine Library at winelibrary.com and I am very proud to launch what we think is the uh, first video wine blog. Your first video got how many views? 30, 75, I mean, like, you know, nobody watched. Right, so like when I get emails, which I get 50 of them a day for entrepreneurs of like, hey, like I know you always talk about patience, like I've been doing this, it's not working, traction, should I give up and do something else? Inevitably I'll email back and be like, how long have you been doing it? Oh, four months, and I'm like, fuck you. You know, like you want this to be your life and you're giving up after four months? Are you out of your mind? Patience is grossly underestimated. You know, I was very successful, my wine business is growing, now I start doing this show and spending all my time trying to promote this show and the sales of Wine Library start flattening out because I was the engine. The show wasn't getting watched, but I knew this was right. And the show really didn't take off until mid-2007, a year and a half in, of five days a week of doing a show, getting only hundreds, then a couple thousand views. Gotta keep putting in the work every day. One is better than zero. Gotta keep putting in the work, putting in the work, putting in the work. There is no quick cure. The hard work matters and the patience is what overrides it, right? I don't need to get mines at 25. Heck, I don't need to get mines at 45. This is a long, long game. I'm very driven by the climb, right? I think being an immigrant, I guess, or just having this DNA, I don't like winning. I like losing. I like the struggle. I don't give a shit about the, the stuff that comes along, but the game, the game is my drug. 
Like there will never be a game over for me. There's no dollar amount. The, the game, the process, the climb, that is the drug that drives me. That is my oxygen. That's what I love. And so every day is gonna go by. 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. And you're gonna look for the short game. You're gonna look for that miracle algorithm. You're gonna look for that one move that's gonna change your outcome. And you're gonna continue to search and play the short game while I keep putting in the work, the hours, the long-term value, and putting in the work while everybody else is hoping and dreaming I'm gonna be executing. You play the short game. I'll keep playing the long game. And it's time to put on a helmet and get to work. Please take a step back. Use this video as a reminder. Watch it every damn day that you want to cheat or get there quick and remind yourself about how you make your money is just as important as actually making it.